Hi everybody, it's Jay Hummingbird, and I'm back with another Facial Friday. And I haven't been here in a long time, guys. Uh, it seemed like ages. I just had a baby like three weeks ago, so I'm getting everything back in order and getting back to myself. You know, taking care of me. You know, getting some self-care in between baby care, which is like a 24-hour job, which is a, a pleasure. A pleasure. It's a joy. You know, I'm so happy. I love my children. So, you know, it's kind of hard to step away and take care of yourself, you know, sometimes. Like, I haven't really been, look at me, I look kind of crusty, but oh well, my health is together. I've been drinking my gallon of water, gallon gang, gallon gang, you know, it's a lifestyle. Um, I've been taking hella herbs and, you know, supplements and drinking hella tea, trying to make her some milk because I'm breastfeeding. So, in the process of that, I've been getting my skin together slowly but surely. But um, So I'm trying this new mask. It's an oatmeal bubble mask, you know. And it says it's an oxygen bubble mask. I got it from Daiso. Just trying something different. Went to a little store called Daiso. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard of Daiso. I mean, I'm late to everything. So, of course, you know, I had to go check it out and see what they had. And I kind of liked it. It was fun, you know. So... Uh, today at the bubble mask I'm using it was like a dollar 35 or something hella cheap but I mean I never tried the oxygen bubble facial mask so it's like it says it's deep cleaning brightening um, it's, it has oxygen foam formula which is something different I mean it's like an enzyme mask which is cool you know so I'm gonna give it a try today we're trying the oatmeal oxygen bubble mask for this facial Friday deep cleaning and brightening it's a foam formula and it's supposed to exfoliate, get those impurities out your skin, dead skin cells off you, re-illuminate you. Yeah, and with those two packets for $135, I couldn't pass those up. So this little mask, it's a little sticky. It's like a lotion consistency. But once you put it on your skin, it starts foaming immediately. And you're supposed to apply it to dry skin, so it foams better. And it's not that hard on the skin. It's not harsh. I don't feel any burning or any tingling or anything like that. It just feels like a little simple soap. Real creamy. So I rinsed the mask off and it says like you, after you put it on, it's just like a little bubble foaming sensation. It's not a tingle or anything. It's not nothing all fancy or, you know, anything like that. But it feels great. I mean, I can say, like, anything that you could do, you're supposed to do little things. Implement implement new things into your regimen. So that way you can have some, keep it new and keep it fresh. And keep your skin just, you know, vibrant and youthful. You know, I'm, uh, I'm really, like, I'm really funny about how aging takes a toll on some people. You know, like, you shouldn't really let... Just the, just the fact that you're getting another year older and older, and then you in the 30 plus club, that you can't take care of yourself or maintain yourself. It's all about maintenance. I say what keeps people looking young is taking care of themselves, you know? Just little, yeah, don't take that raggedy ponytail down, you know? Let that down. Do something new with your hair. Try something different. Put on a new outfit. Try to go outside and do something new. That's what keeps you young, you know? What makes people old and ages them is that they don't try anything new. So, like I said before, keep it new, keep it fresh, and I'll see you guys on the next Facial Friday or Skincare Sunday or whatever. I'm talking about just maintenance and self-care and self-love. So, it might fall on any day. Who knows? <laughs> Stay tuned, guys, and for the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to, that you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, all of that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.